Hey y'all, sorry, earlier I forgot, the one thing I forgot to mention was my weight. So my weight is 134.4. I don't remember if that was a change or not. I think my last weight was 132. So I think I gained two pounds. I'm not sure. I'll look back at it and see for sure and record that also in this video. All right, y'all, that's it. Peace. Keep you in my heart And my heart is where you are I still think of you I want you coming back I remember when we were staring photo Don't forget the way you look me in the eye Hey y'all Welcome back, welcome back So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get right into this video Um, I'm Excuse me. I'm just getting out of my uh, doctor's appointment, y'all. Yeah. Um, do I want to turn this way? Right? Okay, yeah. I'm just getting out of my doctor's appointment. So um, I did record the ultrasound and everything that I did today. So today I had an ultrasound and I had a checkup and everything. Um, doctor, doctor visit or whatever. Um, yeah. And so today, oh yeah, also today, you guys, I'm 35 weeks. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. Um, tomorrow is my baby shower. So yay. And this baby better stay intact. I swear she better stay intact. Because uh, that would suck. <laughs> she ruined my baby shower again because she ruined my last one. <laughs> yeah, baby girl done sent me into labor. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm not gonna say she did, but you know, I went into labor. <laughs> Sometimes this GPS is kind of weird. I'm headed, I'm headed to the uh, store. I need to get me some more uh, Tums smoothie kind. I, I just really can't tolerate the other kind. It just, bleh, they're so gross. <laughs> So last night, I'm kind of all over the place, excuse me, but last night I had really bad acid reflux. I don't even know from what, but like my throat was burning so bad. Like I was vomiting and everything last night. Like I tried to drink some milk and then after I threw up, I got really cold. Yeah, it was just horrible. It was, <sighs> I was so miserable last night because I was tired and I got off of work and everything. And I don't know what I even had as a reflux from. I mean, the only thing I can think of is possibly, maybe the um, salmon pays, but that is the only thing because other than that, I had Alfredo and I had some type of like Pakistani type, I forgot what it was called, I don't know. But it looks like grits and it's really sweet. So that's the best way for me to describe what I was eating. I don't know the name of it in Arabic. <laughs> um, one of my Muslim sisters told me what it was, what the name of it was, but I forgot. But yeah, I mean, other than that, I didn't eat anything else other than maybe the, possibly the salmon patties could have had some kind of seasoning in it or something like that. But other than that, I really don't know what else could have gave me acid reflux like that. But yeah, I got like three little things left, three tums left, three tubers. After this week, I'm going to be so ready for my baby to come. Yeah, while I was sitting at my appointment, I see this little baby girl. I was like, oh, you know, my baby. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she'd be cool. You know, she's good. You know, she stays another week and everything or two or three. <laughs> I'm just getting really, I'm starting to get really tired now. I'm like, I'm, I'm exhausted from all this um, acid reflux. And then the other day I had heartburn for the first time after I ate KFC. Oh, Lord. <sighs> Like, I had heartburn and acid reflux, and that was the first time in my entire life I've ever had heartburn. And oh my god, 
my chest was hurting like so bad and it was all on the left side and my throat was burning and it was just horrible and I've just been feeling so miserable and it's like this sucks <laughs> this really sucks and like at the beginning when I first started getting acid reflux I would eat Tums and drink some milk and I'd be good I was, everything was fine and then the other day I had drank some tea and I put some sea moss in it and everything it was really good herbal tea put sea moss and I thought it was helping I thought it was fine but then later on that night then um it, it, I thought that that would be the remedy. I thought I really thought that the, the herbal tea, along with the sea moss, would be the rem the rem. Y'all, <laughs> I can't even think. Like, talk. Oh my god. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Words won't come out of my mouth. <laughs> oh my god. I thought that that would be the remedy for sure because I started feeling better. Like I started getting better. I was like, oh okay, this is working. Okay, good. I'm gonna do this. You know, I'm gonna drink tea every morning, at night, and all that kind of stuff. But it did not. Yeah, later on, I, I mean, it's it briefly subsided. It, so I'm not gonna say completely didn't work it, for a brief moment. It did, but still, later on, I still had the acid reflux. Like, oh man, this one sucks. So yeah. But so I'm about to head to the store to get some more tums. It's only three left, and I really need them. I don't know, like it seems like anything I eat, I'm just getting acid reflux. <laughs> I remember this one. Uh, oh, this baby is all moving around. And everything, baby, a tinker, baby, a tinker, baby girl. I'm talking to you from the past into the future. <laughs> You are moving around. You have given me a roller coaster of a ride through this pregnancy, baby girl. And I've never had this much trouble ever in any of my pregnancies. This is pregnancy. This will be number seven, baby number seven, God willing. Inshallah. Because uh, this is like, wow, you know, like for real. I've never had this much acid reflux in a pregnancy ever in none of my pregnancies. Although I do know and I'm aware that all pregnancies are different. It's like, golly. Man, this thing is hurting my ears. Oh, dang. <sighs> but yeah. So yeah, today I'm 35 weeks, you guys. Um, I'm measuring. The baby's I'm measuring at 5 pounds, 7 ounces. So I'm not going to go by baby center today because today I did have my ultrasound and I have my appointment. And as I stated, I did, um, oh, the ultrasound uh, was recorded. Hubby recorded the ultrasound for me. We're not supposed to do it, but, you know, I want, uh, I need to capture these moments. You know what I'm saying? Too. I don't even understand that. It's like, why? Like, if I want to reveal my medical stuff, that should be on me, not upon, like, you know them <laughs> that should be my right if I want to reveal any medical um, information in regards to anything regarding me so I don't think they should you know like have that ability to restrict somebody from recording their birth recording their ultrasounds but that's what they want to do. I was watching some other YouTube video. And in the YouTube video, the girl was saying that the doctors were saying to her that it's for um, privacy and protection of the um, uh, patients. But it's like, how? Like, how is that? But if they choose to record that and upload that footage, you know, that's upon them. So... How is that for their privacy? Like, I mean, I understand privacy and everything, patients' rights and all, but that's their right. They should be their right to record something like that, you know? Maybe it's more so for them in case they make a mistake, they don't want it, you know, recorded or something. That's what I, that's what I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I need some more time.
sometimes because this is killing me like this is really driving me crazy you guys i'm really at the point oh you know what i'm right over here i'm tripping i am actually right over here i forgot that i'm actually already over here before i even get to the house okay <laughs> Yeah, that's where I saw the Tums at, so I'm going go here and get these. But yeah, anyway, so you guys, I'm, like I said, I'm 35 I'm weeks today. Sorry for repeating Boulevard. myself, but I'm officially 35 I'm weeks today, you guys. And, um, what you call it? It says that my baby's the size of a honeydew melon <laughs> on Baby Center. <laughs> you know, because normally I go by, um, you know, the weight. It says, on Baby Center, it says my baby would be measuring... You know, they estimate 5.70 something, 27 ounces or some something like that. It really don't matter because, you know, I have my ultrasound and they actually told me what it, what my um, the weight was. So I'm not going to go by that today. So babysitter don't matter today. <laughs> I know the actual weight. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, I'm here. <clears throat> everything went well. I did, um, the doctor checked everything out. It was weird because my doctor was like that I'm measuring 34 weeks <laughs> and like the other the nurse when she came in and measured my belly she was like oh yeah I'm measuring right at 35 because she had asked me like prior to measuring my belly she's like oh how many weeks are you I was like I'm 35 and then she was like oh yeah you're measuring right at 35 and the doctor comes in and he's like oh you're measuring at 34 I'm like because both of them measure my belly <laughs> and the nurse she had stepped out and the doctor came in and then he measured so <laughs> I'm just like okay but yeah okay get it together it's crazy because when i first um my first appointment there um they told me oh they gave me an estimated due date right but prior to me going to the doctor my first doctor's visit i had already went on the baby center and said and um looked up what my estimated due date was so I was like, wait, that's not correct. <laughs> you know, coming from the doctor, the doctor's supposed to give me the correct information. I wouldn't have known the correct information if I wouldn't have looked on Baby Center. So that's kind of crazy. It's like, what is going on with y'all? Why is y'all giving me all this misinformation? <laughs> like, okay. And that's probably why they don't want to record. I'm telling you, I think that's why. For, for their sake. I think it's <clears throat> really for their sake, <clears throat> not the client's sake. Because clients, I mean, the client, I keep saying clients, but customers. Oh my god. Patience. The patients, they're gonna do what they do. So you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got some more ultrasound pictures, but I only got two this time because my baby for her I don't know. She's been camera I guess she was being camera shot today. She was not showing her face. And she was pointing towards the left side of my stomach today. So I only got a picture of her ribs and her little foot. <laughs> Cause she wasn't having it today. She was like, No. She I see her little fist though. And her arm and everything. It was so cute. I was like, oh, she's too big for that screen. So no more profile pictures because she's too big. <laughs> but it's okay, baby Tika. I'm going to see you when you come out into the world, okay? God willing, let me see you when you come out into the world. Yeah, everybody was like digging my pants. <laughs> Look. It was, I didn't even wear it for the 4th of July. I just wore it because, y'all, I can't find nothing to wear. I really can't, like... I'm having such trouble because I have more jeans than anything, really. And I can't wear my jeans. So I'm just having so much trouble trying to find something to wear. So oh, it's been a headache. It really has. It's been a real, real headache. So I'm just like, oh, my God. Oh, it's crazy. But, y'all, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to be patient with all this because this is no fun. Like, I was enjoying my pregnancy for a while. I mean, I had my moments. Don't get me wrong. I had my moments where I was feeling so miserable. Like, when I was going through my morning sickness, there was one particular day I was just so emotional. And just, I was emotional. Sorry, y'all. My, um, my camera had cut out. I think when I stopped my car, I had my uh, phone plugged up to my car. So, I think when I um, unplugged it or something like that, it just it stopped or whatever. But anyways, y'all, um, yeah, there was a period of time when I was going through my first trimester and I was having, having morning sickness. I was just in such distress and I was emotional and um, 
because y'all there was one day I I was driving right and I had morning sickness I had to pull over to the side of the road and then um when I threw up I peed on myself too and I was like I was like oh my god so I was so I had it at that moment I had it like I was fed up I'm like I can't believe it. and then I was going through some personal stuff too some other personal stuff so it was a whole lot of stuff just really weighing on me you know I was in a process where I had to move and all that kind of stuff so that's really you know I had to move out of there and I couldn't find nowhere else to um to live at the moment and um I had like three months and I was stressing the heck out I was stressing out really bad you know the landlord was stressing me out he was just <laughs> and that was months ago but you know alhamdulillah by the grace of god i'm in a better situation so you know um but yeah so <laughs> i've been through it you guys i've been going through it with this pregnancy like i'm dead serious like i'm so serious y'all for real like <laughs> all this I mean, I know it's normal and all that kind of stuff to go through, um, like, the morning sickness and all, all, all that, but it was just a lot. Like, uh, I, I really thought that, like, when I got into my second trimester, I thought I was going to continue with all of this first trimester symptoms and stuff, and I'm so glad. Thank God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God, that, oh, my God, I finally got over that stage of the morning sickness. But now... I'm in my third trimester, and now I'm going through worse stuff <laughs> than my than just throwing up. Like I did, I vomited last night. Like I said, um, because I don't know why. I mean, I guess all the acid it just made me throw up, and then it burned when I threw up, and I was just more throwing up, throwing up more and more and more, and it just it sucked. It sucked really bad. So. But, oh my God, y'all. <laughs> Woo! I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Mm, I'm just hoping, I'm praying I can get through all this. Um, I'm, I'm going to keep faith and everything. And um, I'm trying to be patient. I really am. I'm really, I'm really, really just trying to be patient with this. I'm just, look, I'm trying to keep my head up. I'm trying to stay positive with everything because I know at the end it's all gonna be worth it to see my baby girl i know it will and i'm happy and i feel good you know as long as i get to get through my baby shower like come on please god please please don't let me go into labor on the day of my baby shower please i am begging on this camera today god i am begging <laughs> God, you are my witch. I am begging you. People, y'all, I'm be I am begging God, please do not let me go into labor on the day of my baby shower. I just want to get to my baby shower. I'm telling you, that's it. I just I just want to get to my baby shower. It's tomorrow, you guys. I just want to get through it. I want to enjoy, you know, a day of a joyous occasion that's soon to come. You know what I'm saying? really want to do this i have so much i work so hard on the stuff for my baby shower i worked hard to plan this event i worked hard on every aspect of this baby shower that i'm that i planned like for i put so much time my energy and physical work into the stuff that i planned the games and everything you guys i doing everything for my baby shower so you know i'm hoping to have some help for the decorations <laughs> hoping help you to help out and everything <laughs> so i have everything set up i got all the decor and all of that and hopefully it's gonna look great i'm really hoping <laughs> yes <laughs> i'm gonna have hubby record god willing please baby girl please baby atika talking to you to the future from now to the future this is from the past to the future <laughs> y'all know what i'm trying to say okay so anyways <laughs> It's for baby Tika too. Baby Atika. That's her name, by the way, you guys. Her name's going to be Atika. Okay. <laughs> um, and that's all I'm going to say for right now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to, let me go ahead, y'all. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. <clears throat> I already told y'all uh, what date it was. 
what date it is today. Um, what, what I don't even know what time it is right now. <laughs> Let me see if I can see the time. Okay. Okay, so the time right now actually is 11.19. But when I had, uh, when I went to my doctor's appointment, it was actually, um, let me see, I got there about 9.39, 9.40. So I would say the ultrasound took place maybe around 10 or something like that. Yeah, maybe 9.40, between 9.45, 10 o'clock or so, I'm not exactly sure. I'll look back at the footage and um, I'll put the timestamp on there for that. So, <clears throat> but yeah, so I'll give you a timestamp now. Um, I told you to update the baby size. It says on Baby Center the size of a honeydew melon. Yeah. I swear the stuff they come up with. <laughs> on my doctor's app, it said last week she was a size of like a big squash or something like that. Some kind of spaghetti squash or something. I don't know. I'm like, I don't know what that is. or Something like that. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> these silly things, fruits and vegetables, they compare the baby to a size of all these fruits and vegetables and stuff that's funny <laughs> but yeah um i told you today's date today is the 29th so yeah today's june 29th 2023 if i did not say the date today um and tomorrow's the last day of june so tomorrow's the last day of june like i didn't realize until my best friend had told me she's like yeah i look like you're gonna have a july baby and i'm like I don't know. I'm like, <laughs> then I was like, she was like, yeah, there's only like one day left. I was like, oh, snap. So I, I'm like, yeah, I guess you're right then. <laughs> we'll see y'all. I'm going to keep y'all updated though. Y'all going to find out when I have my baby. So, um, God willing, inshallah, um, I'm going to see if I can record my labor and delivery. I might not be able to get all of it because I know that there's going to be so much going on with all the contractions but i'll keep you guys updated as much as possible when i get when i cross that bridge you know what i'm saying uh, when I, what's that what's the saying goes we'll cross that bridge when we come to it there you go okay i almost forgot what it was and how to say it <laughs> but yeah y'all let me go inside here get these tums i'm just trying to make sure i get everything out so i can timestamp everything um for my future reference because i like to look back at everything because this is the first time I actually get to record um, any type of footage in regards to my pregnancy. Um, I did, I mean, I did some recordings with my, oh, goodness, with my baby, my first baby girl, but it wasn't like a lie. I only, I started actually at 23 weeks and then I only did to 20, I only did like three weeks or 26 weeks or something. So that was lame. That sucked. I didn't really get to do a lot. I don't even know why I stopped. Um, I think I probably had footage or something and didn't. Up, I never uploaded it. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But this time around, I'm starting from the very beginning. I have started from the very beginning since the dad found out that I was pregnant. I didn't get to actually. I, I don't. I don't think I actually would have recorded that moment because it was like a really confusing moment actually, like as far as emotions goes and all of that kind of stuff. So I probably wouldn't have recorded that anyways. Um, because I know how I was feeling and I know how hubby was feeling at first. So it was like, you know, it was like, mm. it was honestly, it was just unexpected. Like, I didn't think that I was even going to get pregnant that early for one. And, um, I just, I, yeah, that's really, I didn't think I was going to even be pregnant that, that early on in the relationship. So... Um, and I wasn't trying to get pregnant, honestly, <laughs> um, especially not that early on. So, but you know, it is what it is. You know, God blessed me with another baby girl and my daughter prayed for her. So alhamdulillah, all praise be to God. You know, I'm thankful for whatever blessings God brings to me. So yeah, but I think, yeah, okay. Now I think that I'm going to end it here because I can't really think of anything else that I would want or need to record at this moment. Um, like I said, I think I got everything that I needed or wanted um, in this video as far as timestamps, information regarding the baby, ultrasound, all of that, <coughs> excuse me, all of that kind of stuff. So, all right, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I hope you all um, liked the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button um subscribe and click that bell notification so you can stay updated every time i upload a new video all right y'all um 
And whatever time of the day it is, whether it's the morning, the afternoon, or evening, I hope you guys enjoy your day. So next time, you guys, peace. Hey, y'all. Sorry. Earlier, I forgot the one thing I forgot to mention was my weight. So my weight is 134.4. I don't remember if that was a change or not. I think my last weight was 132. So I think I gained two pounds. I'm not sure. I look back at it and see for sure and record that also in this video. All right, y'all. That's it. Peace. Thank you.